Uh, I would request Ramesh from uh, Pakistan, who represents the Hindu community, to share his views, and then uh, Rabbi David will uh, follow next. So, uh, Ramesh, if you're ready, uh, please share, share your thoughts. Thank you. Hello, Namaste. Uh, I am Ramesh Jaipal, uh, Executive Director, Harirama Foundation, Pakistan, and today I'm representing uh, the Hindu community. Minority Hindu community from Pakistan, I'm share my the public greeting to the Lead America Foundation and all of you. Uh, thank you, Rajesh Gotiji, uh, for this kindness. And uh, I'm joined with the large group around the world, the people in our today uh, Zoom meeting. Thank you once again. And uh, I'm also grateful to you. And uh, the Lead America Foundation has been a great mentor and has guided, nature and encouraged youth leadership, uh, education and advocacy and diversity. You are doing a good, the all team. I am very appreciated to all of you. And I'm also proud, uh, I'm a proud word to volunteer and uh, express my gratitude for this splendid opportunity to showcase my talent. I am both side. I'm very happy to uh, see all of the people around the, in, from the United States of America and out of the United States of America. And uh, very happy Diwali to all of you. And uh, I'm from Pakistan, so I'm basically Marwadi. So Marwadi has said that there are many people who have done the work of Diwali. When we talk about Diwali, we all have done the work of Diwali. When we talk about Diwali, we all have done the work of Diwali. And once again, happy Diwali to all of you. Thank you, Ramesh Ji. Uh, wish the Pakistani community, minority community, and also your leadership, and you have done a lot of work with uh, COVID in uh, food and other distribution, takes tremendous commitment despite all odds and challenges. And I know you need a lot of help from us. Uh, we'll try to do our best, including financial help and such. Uh, you are a true ambassador in the sense with Interfaith as well, and I have a great ambassador here. Uh, Rabbi David Greenspoon, uh, thank you, uh, Rabbi, joining us. You know more about this faith than even me. So, namaste and uh, carry the torch. Thank you. Rabbi, you're on mute. Maybe I'm not able to hear you. How about that? Okay, great. <laughs> yes. I wish everybody Om Shanti and a, a really wonderful um, light filled the Diwali. I am honored to once again be invited to join the Lead America Foundation for a virtual gathering. And it's a great privilege to be here. I was asked to share greetings. And as the Jewish community is in the lunar month of Kislev, we're preparing for the celebration of the, the minor festival of Hanukkah later on this month. And it is also a light festival. It is the Jewish Midwinter Light Festival. And historically, it's a, a festival that commemorates political independence and self-determination from um, a foreign dominant empire. And on an individual level, it's about the importance of living an authentic life and affirming human dignity. And I'd like to share that it's not widely known that the story of the oil that most people associate with the Hanukkah story, the story of the miracle of the oil, was an absolute invention of the rabbis living in Zoroastrian Persia um, before the caliphate took over. And for the rabbis living in Persia, there was a reason to reinvent what Hanukkah was all about. And they redefined Hanukkah as, at its core, a festival that recognizes the innate human need we all have for light during times of darkness. The need we all have as humans, independent of our background, for light in the time of darkness. And they refocused the celebration on the creation of that light that we need to have. So I'd like to suggest as the, the, the many celebrants of the Wali are concluding those um, celebrations and as we prepare for the celebration of Hanukkah that there is a common message that we can embrace. And that's the, the role and the power of human agency to change darkness to light is common to both Diwali and Hanukkah. 
may we all be blessed to actualize and activate that power of light that we carry within ourselves at all times. May we see the blessings of light and knowledge in increasing levels and in bounty in the year ahead. I wish everyone a blessed day and a blessed Diwali for all celebrating. Thank you, Rabbi. Uh, the focus, like most great leaders, is the commonality, what we can do together, where we have commonality. You touched upon that beautifully. And uh, thank you for coming back, and we'll continue this journey, mentoring and supporting communities as well as championing youth.